guys, welcome back to Absolute Modics, privately sponsored by Tuned and Styled. I'm Bluey. We had a couple of requests from last week. You'd like to know how to put an EGL blanket plate on and why we should put an EGL blanket plate on. So that's this week's episode. You need a 30mm and an EGL blanket plate. We're going to start by removing the two 13mm bolts which are on top of the EGR valve. These hold on the exhaust pipe where all the exhaust gases come back round through the EGR system and go into the inlet manifold. We're going to put the blanking plate directly on top of the exhaust pipe that will stop any exhaust gases coming through into the EGR system. Blanking off the EGR valve is a simple yet effective process. You're eliminating all the exhaust gases coming back round into the inlet manifold. So in doing that, you're stopping any unburnt fuel, any oil, anything that can cause sludge which can clog up the inlet manifold, which reduces power. And we all love power. Okay, I'm just attaching the EGR blanking plate on now, I'm, it's very fiddly, just be aware not to drop your blanking plate down the back of the engine, because I've done this a couple of times and it takes a while to find it back out, normally it hides in the tray. In doing this process though, you're 9 times out of 10 you get an engine management light come up on your dashboard which clearly states that there isn't enough gas going around the EGR system. You can either ignore it or you can take it to a remapper and they can delete the system out of the car so you never get that light come on again for an EGR fault. Or you could get a blanking plate which has an 8 or 9mm hole drilled in it this still allows a little bit of exhaust gases to pass through which will stop the light coming on but you will still build up the sludge in the inlet manifold although it will take a lot longer. Once you've located them it's just a matter of tightening them up so it's nice and tight. That's how you fit a blanket plate. 